Using ratios is another way that we can help ourselves find and identify similar shapes. Um, and I like this method a lot because I can see this very quickly a lot of times. I can see what's happening um, real quickly. And so it's easy for me to recognize if shapes, shapes are similar. Um, so this is just one more method that we can use. Um, I'm going to remind you a ratio is simply um, a way that you compare um, two or more numbers. So if we're looking at this in uh, relationship to um, the shapes, um, let's say that this shape had a side of um, 20 inches on the bottom side and 12 inches on this top side up here on the, on the other side. Um, the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to create a ratio with um, my shape. And I'm going to do that by taking one side over the other side. 20 um, over, or excuse me, 12 over 20, or as a ratio, we would say this is 12 to 20 ratio. If I'm comparing this with a different shape, let's say that our shape is here, and this shape has sides that are um, 10 inches by 6 inches, we can create the same uh, similar ratio over here by putting 6 over 10, or 6 to 10 ratio. And following my rules of um, simplifying fractions or simplifying ratios, if I um, get both of these in their simplest form, I'm going to divide by 2 for my bottom one, and I end up with 3 fifths. And on this one, um, I can divide by more than two. In fact, it looks like I can divide by four, um, and I end up with three-fifths. When I see that this final, um, this final ratio is the same, three-fifths and three-fifths, I know right away that those shapes are similar to each other. So this can be a quick way for us to just do a quick check and see if shapes are similar. Um, Let's look at another example of this with a couple of different shapes. So in this case, let's have a shape that's uh, 9 inches on one side and 15 inches on the other side. I'm going to create a ratio. Um, and I can put either number on top or bottom. Um, I'm going to get into the habit, as you guys can see over here, of always putting the smaller number on top. But you can do the other way around as long as you're consistent in what you do. So in this case, I have 9 over 15. And I'm going to simplify that. I can divide both of those numbers by 3. And that gives me a common or simplified ratio of 3 fifths. My second shape that I'm going to draw, um, I'm going to draw, and let's say that it is um, 20 inches on this side and 6 inches on the bottom side. So again, I would have a ratio of 6 to 20, or 6 over 20. I can divide both of those numbers to get a smaller. Um, I can divide both of them by 2, and I end up with 3 over 10. Now in this case, I'm going to notice that my two ratios were not the same ratio. I ended up with 3 fifths on one of them, and 3 tenths on the other one. So I know that these two shapes are not similar. But one of the ways that this is really nice is I can use this to go back and look. I'm going to remind myself that I have, um, that I have this number of 3 fifths um, here. And I'm going to go back and look at my other ratios. And I notice that I have 3 fifths over here. So I could notice that all three, A, B, and C, are similar shapes, while D was not a similar shape. Um, that's just a quick way that I can go back and check these things out. And we can know that because I see that all of my simplified ratios end up the same. When we've done that, we still want to make sure that we've identified what our um, scale factor was, our common scale factor. Um, and I'm going to do that by coming back to my original ratio. Okay, 12 over 20, 6 over 10. All I have to do is think, how did I get from 6 over 10 to 12 over 20? And most of us are going to recognize that I multiplied 6 by 2 to get 12 and 10 by 20 to get, uh, or 10 by 2 to get 20. And 
Um, so my skill factor in this case would be two. And I could go and repeat that process for all of these. Um, and you're going to notice that this one's probably going to be a little bit dif more difficult to find. Um, and that's where we're going to use that skill from the other day of finding difficult scale factors. So just practice creating ratios. They're real simple to create. Um, and they're real simple to see visually which ones are similar. Which ones ended up with the same ratio at the end when they were simplified ratios. And that's it.